terribly sorry that I put the staff in uh, that position in inadvertently. I just wasn't thinking ahead. Well, nearly 6 million viewers tuned in last night to watch David Letterman's apology, and today we found out that workplace romances are actually common. Well, they really are. CBS 13's uh, Checky Beckford joins us live in the control room with these numbers and how this can cost employers millions of dollars, Checky. Well, Sam and Randy, while David Letterman's workplace involvements are playing out on TV screens across the country, like you said, it's kind of surprising to see how many people actually find love at work and potentially cause their employers millions in the long run. First Lady Michelle Obama dated the president when he was her subordinate, and CBS president Les Moonves is married to early show anchor Julie Chen. So what's the big deal about CBS talk show host David Letterman admitting he had relations with women on his staff? I think it's kind of uh, ridiculous. I think he's a big hypocrite. I was really disappointed in him, actually. People are sounding off about Letterman's scandalous workplace involvements, yeah. even though they probably had workplace romances themselves. I actually married my wife as somebody that I worked with at one point. Taking a big gamble. Yeah. So. But you, did you, have, would you ever date anyone that you work with? I did, actually. <laughs> a 2009 career builder survey showed 40% of employees said they had dated someone at work. We can say that there aren't going to be any workplace romances in California, but there will be. Amelia Stevenson has trained 3,000 managers on workplace etiquette. She says while workplace romance is common, it's also not suggested because of the legal ramifications like sexual harassment that can spring up. When the individual doesn't uh, appreciate or the, uh, the advances are unwanted, and that's where it becomes a slippery slope. California employers spend a whopping $2 million dealing with sexual harassment. I think it causes, uh, you know, unnecessary pressure and um, in the workplace. And you probably shouldn't do it in this state. California has the strictest sexual harassment laws in the country, guys. But just because you date somebody at work doesn't mean it's harassment necessarily. No, not at all. But they're just saying that sometimes it opens you up for more because, say, the relationship doesn't work out and then yeah. there's a miscommunication. And then other employees can feel that the other person's getting favoritism right. because of it. So right. I've seen right. that happen before, too, Checky. Thank okay. you. Okay, thank you.